After the disaster in the last video where the crank pulley went flying off at highway speed, I'm a little bit nervous for this uh, 300 or actually 350 mile uh, break-in service that I'm about to do. I'm hoping that everything is looking good, but we'll see. The plan for today is to change the oil, going with uh, that cheapo boy stuff uh, for the next thousand miles this time. And I'm going to cut open the old oil filter, see how that looks. I'm going to be checking the timing chain tensioner, make sure that that's operating as advertised. And I am going to check the valve lash again and make sure that that hasn't moved. And after that, I'm going to do another little secret motorsports trick for M10s and M30s that I didn't do to the engine when I assembled it and I've been thinking about it and I really want to do it so stay tuned for that that's going to be pretty cool do you think that the uh, the tactic of, of these it doesn't show up that well on camera because some of this is bubbles but in the bottom of the pan, there is a little bit of uh, metallic particulate. Little bit of sparkle in the bottom, but nothing crazy. So I got a small collection of shinies there, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy, and honestly it looks way better than I thought it was going to, especially since I didn't flush the old oil cooler all the way out. This isn't my motorsport tech tip or anything, but uh, one thing I forgot to do earlier is add a neodymium magnet to my drain plug so the filings will uh, collect on the end of that. You could also put one on the inside, but this one's too long, and you got to be careful so that you don't bottom out against the oil pump pickup because it's right through there. Now I need to pull the valve cover so that I can do a check and show you that cool trick I've been talking about. So first I'm going to check that the uh, timing chain tensioner is still working as uh, advertised. So I'm going to gently sneak a long flathead down there and then just gently uh, push on that tab and make sure that it doesn't collapse really easily or anything. Make sure it's got some nice hydraulic pressure behind it. Yeah, that feels pretty solid. Got my handy 7 thousandths feeler gauge here and now I'm going to go ahead and check the valve lash. Make As expected, the valves were a little bit loose from that uh, from that breaking in process of the rockers getting used to the cam lobes, so no big deal there. I'll check them again at the next uh, thousand mile interval of the uh, break in process here. And to torque them to uh, eight foot pounds, I just use my usual uh, torque wrench trick. If you want to see that explained in depth, um, definitely check out part three of my built M10 video series. Now it's finally time for that trick I've been talking about. So I've been talking to some guys who have been racing 2002s for quite a long time and they were telling me that they often see this uh, oil supply bolt here, the banjo bolt, they often see these actually come loose over time. So I'm going to actually pull this out and drill it for safety wire and then safety wire it to the tube.
short, a half turn, playing with the other little girls, running up and down the bleachers, and when we go to bed that night, everything is just normal. And there you go. Overall, everything's just looking pretty nice for the first break in there. I'm comfortable turning up the boost now, so stay tuned for that.